They are my favorite part of the pumpkin, the seeds. Let me show you how I make them. I'm just gonna scoop out all these seeds. Separating out any of the pulp and immature flat seeds. All right, we're gonna wash these and get all of the bits of pumpkin out of them. Okay, we're gonna bake these at 350. A really important thing is to take your seeds and make sure you get them really dry. Just take a clean towel. If there's a little bit of the pulp in there, it's no biggie. Just pull it out as I find it. Also, any of these little flat seeds, they're not going to be good, so I pull them out too. I'm going to roll them up into a towel. All right, and then after, I just sprinkle them onto the tray. That I've lined with parchment basically because once they're done, it's easy to pull the parchment like this and pour the seeds into a container. And easy cleanup. Let's do kind of small amounts at a time to get them pretty dry. Dry seeds get nice and crispy. My favorite seasoning is about one part of salt to a half part of garlic combined with a half part of smoked paprika and then just about a quarter of a part of pepper. And the amount I make just depends on how many seeds I have. Since this is just one small pumpkin, I'm using a teaspoon for my one part of salt. And so that makes it about a half part of paprika, garlic, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I spray my seeds directly onto the tray. You can use olive oil or avocado oil. Put them in a bowl and mix it up with them, but this is easier and faster and then I don't have to clean another bowl. I just mix my seeds around a little bit in the oil to make sure they're well coated before adding the seasoning. And then I'll add some more if I need to. I want my seeds well coated in the seasoning so they taste good, but I don't want to overdo it or they'll be too salty. So I just kind of sprinkle until I can see the paprika is well distributed. Then I just mix it all around with a spoon until I can tell that it's evenly coated. Now I want them evenly spaced on the tray. So I just kind of flatten them out, try to make no holes so they can evenly brown and get crispy. Leftover seasonings get safe for a future pumpkin. Into the oven for about 20 minutes. I do set a timer for five minutes so that I can Stir them every five minutes. They've been roasting for about 10 minutes. Yeah, I think these are done. I'm gonna taste one and see. Can you hear? They're like crispy sounding. whatever seasonings you like to use. If you like more of a Mexican flavor, an Italian flavor, you can make them sweet. You can put a little maple syrup and like cinnamon or pumpkin spice spice. Pumpkin pie spice, they're so good. Anyways, we got these when we were roasting pumpkins. I will leave a link to the pumpkin roasting video at the end of this one and in the description box so that if you are new to roasting pumpkins, you can go check out how to do that.